The final piece of the key bridge now lays at the bottom of the Patapsco River. The nearly 600 tons of steel collapsed onto the bow of the Dolly container ship after it hit the bridge overnight on March 26th, and it's been a grim reminder of the disaster ever since. While the loss of the bridge will stay with the Chesapeake Bay region for generations, the effort to find the victims, clear the channel, and free the Dolly moved with impressive speed. Now, there were some who, when we were here weeks ago, looked at the complexity of this operation and said, this is going to take months in order to clear this channel. Well, here we are now, and I'm thankful for the fact that because of the hard work, the diligence, the speed, the 24-7 operation that has taken place, we've been able to get it done in a matter of weeks. In an already complicated mission, the removal of this section of the bridge posed even more challenges. It took a lot of math and engineering to formulate a plan that would allow so much metal to slide into the water without risking the ship and cargo that lay beneath. Incredible care was taken to protect the lives of those prepping for demolition. The Key Bridge Response Unified Command scaled the remaining truss. Much of the work was done at 180 feet in the air, where they made their first precise cuts into the huge heap of metal. Those cuts were just millimeters in width. Then, explosives were dropped into the cuts and sealed with black tape-like covers. Those who heard the detonation say it sounded like fireworks. An instant later, the remains fell into the Patapsco as planned. Now officials will resurvey the channel and make sure there are no hazards. Scrap will be recovered and taken to Trade Point Atlantic to be recycled, and the ship will be moved into port as soon as it's safe. The hope is to have the channel reopened within just 16 days. After that, attention turns to rebuilding. Now, rebuilding the Francis Scott Key Bridge is not about nostalgia. It's about necessity. So we are moving fast. We're covering all bases. We're not slowing down. And we're going to get it done together. For Chesapeake Bay Magazine, I'm Jennifer Gladstone.